financial accounting. We've been talking about the accounting equation. Uh, for a corporation, that's assets equal liabilities plus stockholders' equity. If I'm a sole proprietorship or a partnership, it's called assets equal liabilities plus owners' equity, or ALO. But because we're a corporation, we have stockholders, which means that our external investors hold shares of stock in our business. What I want to talk about in this short segment is how the accounting equation always stays in balance. So, for example, if I have assets of $100,000 and my liabilities are $80,000, can you tell me what stockholders' equity has to be? Well, it's $20,000, isn't it? Because the accounting equation always has to stay in balance. Uh, let's try another one just to make sure you've got it. What if assets were $180,000 and stockholders' equity was $70,000? Could you tell me what liabilities are? Did you say 110? You're right. Well, that seems pretty straightforward and simple. So let's make it a little bit harder. What if we look at the balance, oh, the balance sheet, which is the accounting equation. I shouldn't have said that yet. More on that later. But what if the accounting equation at the beginning of the year was $100,000? and liabilities were $60,000. What was owner's equity or stockholder's equity at the beginning of the year? Did you say 40? And then, what if at the end of the year, we took another snapshot of the company's financial health? Because remember, this accounting equation is at a moment in time. So this is the snapshot, January 1, strike of midnight. What if, on December 31 of that year, we take another snapshot of the financial health, and it shows the following. We have uh, assets of 180000 Our liabilities have risen to 90000 So what is our stockholders' equity at the end of the year? Did you say 90000 So... As you can see, we can come up with the accounting equation at the beginning of the year and at the end of the year. But what would be interesting is to know what was the change. So let's look at the change. And delta, remember, means change. So how much did the assets change? The assets changed $80,000. How much did the liabilities change? The liabilities changed $30,000. They went up also, didn't they? And how much did stockholders' equity? Well, they also went up 50000 So look at this. Not only does the accounting equation balance at the beginning of the year and the end of the year, but the change also balances. So notice the change of 80000 is equal to the liability change of 30000 plus the stockholder equity change of 50000 now let's try one more just to make sure you've got it. Beginning of the year, assets are 100,000. Liabilities are um, 50,000. So what's stockholders' equity? Did you say 50,000 as well? You're right. What if at the end of the year, we had a balance of 120,000? Liabilities um, fall to or go up to sixty thousand, and then what stockholders' equity? Did you say sixty as well? You bet. So as far as the change, notice the twenty thousand dollar change is equal to a ten thousand dollar increase in liabilities plus a ten thousand dollar increase in stockholders' equity. Isn't that great? So the accounting equation moment in time, financial health of the company, whether it's the beginning of the year, end of the year, or the change during the year.